I'm a detective, a private eye. I've had my share of wise guys. Dames and danger. Okay, more than my share. All part of this terrible business. Trust no one. Look out for numero uno. The client hires me to discover the truth. You always recycle after lunch, and that takes a minute or two. And that's right before fifth period, so you had your notes. No way. No, she used her phone, took pictures while your back was turned. That's how she made it look like you were cheating off her. I mean, no way. Jonas does the recycling for the whole table. Maybe it was just a coincidence, but thanks for trying. No, wait, are we done with my efforts? Stanley, you did a good job, but maybe next time. Kids are guaranteed, sex been guaranteed, tell your friends. Yep, that's me, Stanley Kidd. The world famous kid detective. You don't know about detectives? All right, listen up. Basically, detectives made America great. Men like Philip Marlowe, Sam Spade, Rex Stout, me. Men of action who always wear hats. The better the detective, the worse the client. Clients are people who hit rock bottom and started digging. They need help. The detective opens the case. The case will involve a corrupt cop, sometimes a judge, and a bad guy. Or three. Oh yeah, and usually there's a dame in there somewhere. But we keep our eyes open. Everyone has a secret. Play the cards you hold and live to solve another case. That's the life of a world famous private eye. Famous? Oh yeah. On this island, People who never heard of me try to hire me. Trouble just brings them to my door. I answer and say, trouble? Great, come on in. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't born like this. I was a good kid once, from a normal family. Dad, mom, me, my sister. Dad used to travel a lot. He was a musician. He was killed when a steel shut supporting the main stage gave way. Tough break, kid. Mom does her best, but her health isn't great. She's in and out of the hospitals. She's got to rely on me. I'm the man of the house now, so I'm stuck with a world-class interfering pest who happens to be my sister. Where are we going? We aren't going anywhere. Mom said you have to watch me. Just go inside. But what if- Nina, you asked too many questions. Just go inside. That's because I'm a detective. She's not a detective. She's delusional. But my cases don't always start with trouble finding me. Sometimes I find it. Mom, I'm home. Mom? 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 You have reached the kid's Mom? residence. Please leave a message. Stanley, this huh? is Clarissa Hodge. I think you remember me. Do I remember Clarissa Hodge? Who can forget a social worker who spreads misery like an infected rat spreads the plague? Listen, last time Mom went down, I called 911. Mom? 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 Call 911. And what thanks did I get? Clarissa Hodge hauled Nina and me to the children's home on totally trumped up charges. She didn't even raise her rights. We didn't even get a phone call. She's the kind who will knife you in the back and then arrest you for carrying a concealed weapon. I'm the kind who thinks it's too bad we don't hang more social workers these days. Now this. Your mom is in the hospital. Please call me as soon as possible so I can arrange to come and check in on you and your sister. I don't know if Clarissa Hodge has a thing against all detectives or just me, but this time, we weren't going down without a fight. I needed to throw her off our trail. Miss Hodge, this is Detective Stanley Kidd. My junior associate Nina and I are out of the country on a case for a long time. Please close your file because your assistance is not, I repeat, not required. Thank you, that is all. 
I had to get to my sister. That message might have made Jessie delay me so she can grab Nina first. I put nothing past Clarissa Hodge. Where is Mom? She was supposed to ride me home. She's in the hospital. Let's go. I didn't want to worry Nina about Miss Hodge. Fortunately, she had other things on her mind. Why can't we go visit Mom? We could ride our bikes. Because you might be full of childhood diseases, contagious childhood diseases. But we have all our vaccinations, and we don't bathe that often, so we have very strong immune systems. Plus, she's going to be worried about us. She's the one who made the plan. Get Addison to stay with us, and I take care of you. Great plan. I guess I have to call Addison. I hate Addison. No answer. Try Max. Who? You know, the goofy guy that hangs out with her all the time. Just go inside. Maybe I couldn't see the flames, but I smelled the smoke. In this business, the smart men don't fear the hardheads, the halfwits, the snakes, or the seriously insane. The smart men fear the fire. And my cousin Addison. This better be good. This would be easier if you answered your phone. My phone was stolen. What do you want, Stanley? I think I got sick again. I'm sorry, what do you want from me? Can you call the hospital? I'll do anything you say. You'll find my phone? I'm a detective. I'll get it back. Case of the filched phone. All right, I'll go inside. Thanks, Addison. I see. And has she been admitted? Okay, and Dr. Kerr isn't there. Okay, I'll leave the message at his office. Yes, I have the number. No, no, thank you. So? So her blood sugar was falling. She called the paramedics, but was laying on the floor when they got here. They're stabilizing her. Is she gonna die? No. Can you talk to me on the porch? No way, Nina. No way. Your mom's tough. I need you to stay. You can't expect me to drop everything and babysit. No, no. I just need an adult to be here. Stanley. I went to your office, but you weren't there. She stay with us until my mom gets back. Maybe. Find my phone, great detective, or I'm out of here. It's my board. My skateboard. It's gone. Gone? Swiped, the moose stolen. Case of the swiped skateboard. Not just mine, both the Erickson brothers and Jay Morton lost his. So you think this is some type of serial robbery thing? Yeah, but there's more. Okay. But let's not talk here. Since you're a good client, come into my lab. Good client? Man, I'm your best friend. I didn't usually let clients into my crime lab. They did enough to ruin my cases already without giving him a helping hand. But Ben's a straight shooter. We go back. By which I mean he shoot me straight in the back. Dang, clients. I let him in anyway. So you live here. Erickson's are here. And Jay is here. We know that, don't we? We do, but we're looking for a pattern. This is Saturday, and the price is $100. And you went to her? And Jay and both Ericsons. This is good, but I'm going to require more data. Can you see if there have been any more thefts? Ask everyone who signed up. That's my mom. I gotta go. You know my methods. Apply them. Ben's case would have to wait. These dames demanded dinner. So what about my phone? 
Have you canceled the account? Of course I have. Can I just buy you a replacement phone? No, there are pictures on there that I want. Okay. So where'd you lose it? I didn't lose it. It was stolen out of my locker at the gym. And you're sure you locked it? Okay. Well, it says the combination. No one. Are you sure? Absolutely. Stop asking me if I'm sure. Hey, pizza. Hey, that's ours. It's okay, Nina. But you didn't get any. I'll make a sandwich. So your phone was stolen out of a locked locker. And I want it back. Game is afoot. This is a good pizza. I was thinking, maybe I could help you with your case. Nina thinking that joining the agency would make her a detective is like me thinking that sitting in the bike shed would make me a bicycle. Crazy kid. I said when you're big enough. You're not big enough. But I heard what Ben was saying. I could definitely help. I told you to stop letting you have to dry your vent. Just come on, Stanley. No. Stanley, get down here. What happened? Is it mom? No. Look. It got uploaded to Funny Punk and now it's gone viral. You have to get me that phone. Whatever you need. Well, it's done now. Oh no. This is just the beginning. There are much worse pictures on that phone. Much worse. I'm gonna need to see the locker. In the girls' locker room? Dude. How do you think she's doing? I don't know, man. I called the floor nurse and she said it was rough, and she said it was rough, and she said it was rough. We'll see. Maybe we should bring her flowers or something. With mom in the hospital, Addison had taken over my dreams. I had to find that phone. Sweet, this is vintage, from the 60s. Can you not play that? Hey, Addison, I'll drop her off. Can you pick her up? No, you do it. Can you check how the mom's night was? Of course, sweetie. As soon as I have my phone. You can use that one right there. I know. There are things a private eye will never do as he pursues his own kind of justice. With only the business end of his gun between him and the end of the line. He can risk his own life, but he won't take an instant down with him, especially his little sister. But my back was against the wall. Listen, Nina, you're gonna get to help me with an investigation. Really? You won't be sorry. Just meet me here after school and we'll go. Time crawled by. But at last, it was time to meet Nina and get going on the case. Of course, when we got to the gym, she had other ideas. I'm not going in. Come on. I need to get Addison's phone. We need her. If you can meet Addison's terms, you can meet mine. I want to join the agency. You're my little sister. It's the kid detective agency. I'm one of the kids. Because it looks like you really, really need me this time. This game was as tough as they come. Heartless with the face of an angel. That's a winning combination. And she knew it. And I knew it. And she knew I knew it. And she was giving me a royal pain in the neck. 
but I couldn't stop her without cutting off my own head. Left me no choice. <sighs> okay, I'll give you a probationary trial. But if you mess up, you're out. No wine to mom. Now go in there and conduct a thorough, and I mean thorough, search. Make sure no one's in there. Got it. All clear. Oh, come on, lady. Maybe if you get your head out of your phone, you would see a kid lying in the middle of the floor. Did she see you? You did a search, a thorough search. Sorry, I didn't see her. Never mind, I know how it was done. There was a right off the hinges. No way! Wait, only held on by two screws. A child could get them off. Now we know how it's done. But we don't know by who. Who hates Addison? Who doesn't? Now that I knew how the locker was opened, it was time to investigate Addison. Many crimes are solved by understanding the victim. What's there to understand about Addison? She takes Kung Fu and is a menace to society. Her car breaks down a lot. She says it's because the Jeep is old. I say, so she drives like a maniac. The Jeep won't start. I'll just have to call and get a jump again. She eats enough to feed a herd of wild rhinoceros. Hey, you guys ate all the ravioli. Addison has never taken me seriously. Ooh, stink out. Case of the purloined baseball glove. Bicycle surveillance. I presume it's jealousy. Addison is always with Max. He's a chump, she's a chump. They belong together. Show me chumps. How's your cousin doing today? Stupid. Don't you think he's... Crazy? I was gonna say as wild and free as the birds in the sky, but yeah. I don't know, man. I just think he's an idiot. Don't you want to help? Well, who else is there? Can I see? No. I've got to get you home. Watching Addison waste time with Max was getting me nowhere. I had clients. Some clients are models of patience and understanding. Just not mine. You're late. I know. I take Nina home. She's the most annoying person in the world. I think it's her voice. Stanley! I think it's her whole head. Any progress on the case? Well, I've narrowed it down to people who hate Addison. Someone took my board because they hate Addison? Stan, this is Major Man. I really need my board. Right. No news yet. Have you asked around? Any more thefts? No, but I did find out one thing that's weird. Josh Erickson didn't sign up for the tournament. He has a swim meet. Are you sure? Yeah, what do you think? Is it a clue? I think so. Does that mean you don't know? Of course I didn't know. Clients think I just shake my head and the answers float up in front of my eyes. That's not an investigation. That's a snow globe. When I got home, a nasty surprise awaited me. 
Stanley, call me when you get home or you are in big trouble. You have the number, Clarissa Hodge. Every detective knows that the note is essential in almost every case. And one good note deserves another. A seasoned detective relies on brains as well as bullets. I was out of bullets at the moment, so brains it was. I needed to let Chris Hodge know that I meant business. A master stroke of counter espionage. Miss Hodge has underestimated me again. I've been waiting for you. I had stuff to take care of. Please stand. I'm eating dinner. I'm starving here. I'll make spaghetti. I don't like spaghetti unless mom makes it. I don't know how to make the main things, okay? You know, why don't you go outside and play with your little friends? I wanted to make sure Nino was all right. But my fans pursued me relentlessly. Will you play with me, Stanley? Timmy, why aren't you at your house where you belong? What about Nina? Come on, I'll take you home. It wasn't until that night that I finally had time to think about the case. I know whoever took the phone has to be close to Addison. Who can be close to Addison? She's like a leaf blowing from gutter to gutter. If good girls go to the head of class, Addison goes everywhere else. She has a skull and crossbones where other dames have a heart. But something about her case was fishy. It nagged at me. Like a mosquito bite in the middle of my back that I can't reach and won't stop itching. Who eats Addison? Who doesn't? Oh no, this is just the beginning. There are much worse pictures on that phone. Much worse. Got it. I was pretty confident I knew who took Addison's phone. But I couldn't confront the thief without proof. It might make them dump the phone so I offered a no questions asked guarantee for its safe return. In a note, of course. Hey Max, you think I'm needed from school today? No, can't do, muchacho, sorry. Addison? I'll pack for foster care, are we? Great. Come on, Nina. I'm a man of action. But sometimes I have to wait to give the thief time to respond. So what if it also gives the criminals hope? Hope they could get away. Get away with murder. But it was really just hide and seek. And I was always it. I'll level with you. I hated waiting. Felt like I was doing life plus 20. But nothing lasts forever. Finally. Finally, it was time to see if the note worked. But I had to pick up Nina first. As usual, her head was in the clouds. What's that? 
I drew a picture for mom. Are you supposed to be an angel watching over her? Mom thinks I am. Think she's an angel? This baddie dame wouldn't last a day in the real world. I, on the other hand, was focused on the case. When I got home, there was a nice surprise. What's better than solving a case? Absolutely nothing. So what's for dinner? Hey Addison, I forgot something for you. <laughs> You're home, baby. Oh. I found it on the floor of your Jeep, under the seat. It must have fallen out of my bag, but... How did the picture get uploaded to Funny Punk? I think someone else in the restaurant must have gotten the same shot. Some cases rely on understanding totally random coincidences. Well, good job, Stanley. Thank you. Stanley? Just go to sleep. I'm not going until you tell me. I know you didn't find that phone in her car. Fine. The first thing I realized was that the internet meme, you know, the one with the picture of Addison with the chopsticks in her nose, was funny. So? So, the person with the phone was playing around, joking. And I realized that the only person who knew the picture was on the phone, assuming it was intended as a prank, was the person who took the picture. Max! Right. But he's a boy. He couldn't have gone in the locker room. Just because the locker could be opened easily doesn't mean it was. That's what we call a red herring. The phone did fall out of Addison's bag and Max picked it up. A crime of opportunity. So he was just joking with her? Yep. But he had no way of knowing she was like a world-class detective on him. And his partner. Good night, Stanley. Good night. <laughs> Stanley? What? Since you found Addison's phone, does that mean that Miss Hodge can't take us? Well, she'll still take us if she thinks Addison is an unfit adult. Addison is an unfit adult. I know. That's why we don't want Miss Hodge to actually meet Addison in person. So we just say she's here until Mom comes back? Right. Good night, Stanley. Reached a good residence. Please leave a message. Stanley, this is Clarissa Hodge. I got your note. This is not a joke. I will be coming to your house, and I expect you and Nina to be there. You are a child, Stanley. This is for your own good. Clarissa Hodge wasn't giving up. Maybe I couldn't win against her. Then again, all of a sudden a pattern leapt out at me. How did I miss it? The crime scenes radiated out from a central point. Children's home. 
So the perpetrator must be someone who's moved from house to house undetected, someone above suspicion, and someone with a large trunk. The motive for this type of crime is simple. On this island, a kid is nothing without a stick, less than nothing, a negative number. And there's only one person I know who would like to ruin as many kids' lives as possible, Miss Hodge. She had the motive, means, and opportunity. My gut told me I was right. But what did my gut know? Maybe my pants were too tight. I needed hard evidence. Get that? I needed time. Time to think. I had to stall her. She couldn't know I was on her trail. Ms. Hodge, this is Secret Agent James Pond, Her Majesty's Secret Service. I have sent Stanley Anita Kidd on a top secret mission of global importance. The fate of the free world rests on their shoulders. Of course this is not Stanley. This is James Pond, head of MI5, Her Majesty's Secret Service. Don't you understand English? No, I cannot give Stanley a message. He is very busy and not available. Good day. Now to work, setting a trap. The first step in my trap was to install a GPS tracking device on my own stick, a concept that a four-eyed nitwit can never understand. What you doing? Can't you read the sign? But you said if I help. Probationary junior associate does not have lab privileges. But. Out. But. Now. Fine. Cases turn dangerous. It happens in this business. Especially when it comes time to set a trap. Some guys Welsh, they give up, run away, become accountants. Wise guys say, danger is my middle name. Well, danger is not my middle name. It's Russell, and I set the trap. The next morning, I checked my tracker. My trusty GPS tracking software showed me exactly where the thieves stashed my board. Here we go. I've tracked the boards. That's incredible. No, it's not. They're in the Poindexter house. Poindexter house? That's right, the Poindexter house with three confirmed sightings of old lady Poindexter's ghost. It was a house no kid would go near. And it was located two blocks from the children's home, exactly on Miss Hodge's daily commute. The clues were piling up. Old lady Poindexter was crazy. She shot her own grandkids and hung herself. The kids are urban legend. Her real grandkids were at vacation Bible camp. It was an accidental overdose. But still, no one who goes in ever comes out. That's what makes it such a great place to store stolen merchandise. To recover the skateboards and catch Miss Hodge, I had to follow a slinking rat into her stinking warren. But I didn't have a choice. My own behind was on the line. I had to catch Clarissa Hodge before she caught me. Or yours truly could be the one caught in the trap. And that, I could not allow. You sure our sticks are in there? Sure mine is. So the question is, what are our priorities? Priorities? What do you mean? I mean, do you want justice or do you just want our stuff back? Why can't we get both? Because if we get the police involved, they'll keep the board as evidence. Or... We just grab them? Right, rob the robbers. 
That's what we should do. Okay, as soon as the sun's down, we strike. My mom will let me go out after dark. Mom will let them out after dark? Please. Even Nina isn't afraid of the dark anymore. But he's a good client. I'll let him off the hook. That's okay. How are we gonna get in? Well, there's one person I could lift up onto the balcony where there's a broken glass door. I'm sure she's listening through the drive right now. Nina? Hi. My plan was simple. First, gather up my equipment, including my little sister. You aren't afraid, are you? I mean, it's just a house. There's nothing to be afraid of. Are you afraid, Stanley? No, why would I be? Then we traveled to the point next to our house on foot to avoid detection. If Miss Hodge caught us out alone at night, she put us straight into the children's home for sure. You scared? No, are you? Of course not. Come on, I'll hoist you over the balcony. I know a better way. I heard it from a kid at school. Where? Follow me. What are you doing? Wait for me at the door. Let me in. No. Nina? Not until you let me join the agency. Nina! Oh, all right. This is from what we came for. Right. Did you hear that? Nina, where are you? Nina? Nina, where are you? Stanley, I found something! Yep, this is it. How'd you know? Only box without dust. Great, grab Ben's board and leave the rest. Tomorrow night, I'd stick at the point extra house. Then, when Miss Hodge showed up, I'd photograph her with the other stolen skateboards, caught red-handed. She'd have to leave Nina and me alone forever. The success of my greatest case lay at hand. But as usual, Nina was only thinking of herself. I was really helpful. You're gonna let me into the agency now, right? What is with this dingbat? I'm certainly not going to let her into the agency. Sure, she did all right this time. Beginner's luck. But when things get hot, the last thing I need is some Dippy Dame tagging along, especially on a case that could cost me my freedom. Too bad, Toots. I'm never speaking to you again. The next morning, I headed out to return Ben's board. Mark another X in the kid win column. Yep, it was a good day to be a detective. The board's last night. I think I could give it to you. Okay. What are you doing? What does it look like? It looks like a rival detective agency is trying to capitalize on my reputation and my location. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you have an appointment. Fine. Can I get an appointment? Let me check. Yes, yeah, so I can give you an informational meeting so I can hear about your case. My case is that my little sister has lost her mind. I want you to find it. I found those boards, and if you won't let me into the agency, I'll start one of my own. This is the thanks I get for taking care of you? Well, good luck with it. Dude, my board. Her own agency? How did this happen? I did find out one thing that's weird. Josh Erickson didn't sign up for the tournament. He has a swim meet. That's what we call a red herring. I know a better way. 
Where? Follow me. Nina! The truth hit me like a ton of Nina-shaped bricks. My case against Clarissa Hodge was ruined. That double-crossing dame. It was you! You took the skateboards! Why would I? You were the only one who could fit into the vent! Other people! You followed me to the park! You know exactly which box to look in! I found those boards! Because you put them there! But you messed up! You want me to think it was related to the skate tournament! But Josh Harrison didn't sign them! You didn't know that! If you would ever give me a chance! No wonder you weren't afraid! So what if I did? I had to make you need me! I don't need anyone! Yes you do! And still do I! <sighs> Detectives should never lose their cool. I forgot Nina was just a kid. When I got home, I saw that Nina's bike wasn't in its spot. What if Miss Hodge had her? Nina! Nina! Will you play with me, Stanley? Timmy, has Nina been here? No! I have to go. But who will play with me? Time to go home. Ah! Uh... Nina? I drew a picture for Mom. Why can't we go visit Mom? We could ride our bikes. I knew where Nina was, and I knew she was making a mistake. I know. She's our mom. I know. It's not fair. Here. Why don't I go ask the lady at the information desk if she can to deliver to mom? Wait here. So I should make sure mom gets it. Thanks, Stanley. Let's go home. At the end of the day, I guess even great detectives have to take care of their little sisters, even the delusional ones. Are you gonna tell mom on me? Look, the first thing you have to know is that detectives chase bad guys not other detectives. So no more red herring cases. Please, Stanley, please give me another chance. Tell you what, when Mom gets home, I'll take you on part-time. Full-time part-time? Not probationary? Full-time part-time. Thanks, Stanley. Stanley, I know you're in there. Open the door. I spoke to your mother, and I know your cousin is staying with you. Stanley, I'll be here at noon tomorrow to meet her. If you're not here, I will have to call the police. Don't let her take us away, Stanley. All my tactics had failed. Nowhere left to turn except... Addison. Addison, I need to talk to you. What? Clarissa Hodge is coming to the house tomorrow, and if you're not there, she's gonna take Nina and me away. Please be there tomorrow. Please. Are you listening? What? I know you're too cool to care, but you have to make some adjustments. We're family. 
That's what families do. And I'm just a kid. I can't do everything by myself. Hey. Be at my house tomorrow at noon and we'll face her together. Dark night falls and the weak weep fear into their pillows. But a detective with a job to do can't afford fear. Fear makes him stupid. Stupid makes him dead. So he works the case through to the bitter end. Come what may. I bet Addison won't come. She'll be here. 50-50, Max. Good night, Nina. Like it? Awesome, this bill, right? Don't you remember the social workers business today? So? So, responsible adults stole like a cotton candy machine just exploded on their heads. Is this better? You kid kids will be okay. What are you wearing? Even if he solved every case, he can't stop bad things from happening. How do you know? I've always known. That's why I want to help you. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. How did Addison's pink hair change to green all of a sudden? And why is Max impersonating Elvis? Think about it. And this is just a dream. Yeah, you have to get up. You have to get ready. shower. You think? Yeah, so you know, you know. Stink? Yeah. Can't hurt. When Nina and I got everything ready, Addison did not arrive. Don't you think this visit is mostly to expect Addison, not the house? Yeah, but there's nothing we can do to beat up Addison. I've been texting her and I already called her six times. What are we gonna do? We have to go find her and get her to come back with us. We don't have much time. What if we can't? The time for calling Addison was done. Or texting, or setting up smoke signals. I need to go out there and bring her in myself. You know not have to be quick or be left in the dust. I gave it to her straight. We have to. Can you keep up with me? My car won't start and my phone's dead. Addison? There's no way we're gonna get there now. Hand it over.
For once in her life, she didn't look like radioactive waste in combat boots, but pretty close to an actual human being. I appreciated that more than I would ever tell her. Ready? <sighs> okay. Hi, Miss Hodge. I'm Madison Kidd. Please come in. Nice to finally see you, Stanley. Or should I say, Inspector Pond? Great, so would you like some coffee? No, thank you. I'm sorry to hear your mom's sick again. I drew a picture for her. I'd love to see it. I don't have it anywhere. Maybe you could just draw another one. I, I made some teas. That would be lovely, dear. Stanley, why don't you help your sister? The moment of truth. Our fate now lay in the hands of my cousin Addison. Now Addison, you're 18. This is a lot of responsibility for you. Yeah, but I've made some adjustments. But you're so young yourself. Why are you willing to do that? Well, we're family, and families do the best with what they've got to work with. And in this case, that's me. That's all any of us can do, dear. Thank you. How'd it go? Amazingly, okay. She's not taking anyone out. She told me to call her if I can't handle it. And Stanley says that I could be his partner. Part time. Really? Stanley Kid, Kid Detective. Stanley, she cheated again. I need you back on the case. Meet me at your office right away. Gotta go, guys. Things got back to normal. Timmy's still dinosaur crazy. You just gotta play with him every now and then. Nina remains a pest, but she sure tries hard. Got to give her that. Addison continues to be a menace to society, but she's keeping Miss Hodge happy. Mom is getting better every day and should be home soon. And I have a client. I never let my line cheating, scumbag clients down. Of course they don't feel the same way about me. I solve cases for them. I solve cases in spite of them. I'm a detective, private eye.
he seems okay. He's kind of a nutcase, though. What do you right? mean? I mean, what kind of 10-year-old kid is wants to become a detective? Uh, I don't even know. Like, I think his, his parents showed him too many movies when he was young, and now he's got this thing in his head that he's some great detective. Like, once I found a broken leaf, I could tell that he was going one way instead of a different way, which he was trying to throw me off. So, that kind of stuff. Hmm? Is it, you ever helped him out on the case? He never asked me to, and even if when I tried to, he's like, you're not smart enough. That's not very nice. Do you think, do you think you'd do a good job if you helped him? Well, I'd do a good job in my dinosaur case. Of course I would have solved the case faster. I mean, I'm sure everybody can see that now. Truthfully, she is not as bad as her brother. I mean, she's got some sense, a little diabolical ways and schemes, which I can respect. A detective has to find all those nooks and crannies in case there's a secret door or something. Or, or especially when it's raining, you know, you can get under those and not be wet, because a detective does not look good when they're wet. I mean, sometimes you do if they're wearing a fedora, but I don't have a fedora. Please, Stanley, please, can I please be in the agency? I know how to ride a bike. I'm sorry. I don't really like that kid, but I love him. She has this weird look. She calls it, like, retro. I don't get it. Turns out Miss Hodge is actually all right. It's Stanley who's the one that's bad crazy. If he wants to make it a family business, I mean, of course his younger sister has to be in there at least. I mean, I'm the only sister he has. And Addison thinks it's, well, Kitty. <laughs> Kitty. Just relieved that it's over. All I want is someone to play with me, please. I would be a much better detective than him, definitely. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff than being a detective. Actually, I'm in a band. Hit it! One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you.